Hi Aries, I'm Jennifer. I'm going to do your reading for you and uh, find out what messages spirits have for you. I'm going to shuffle the cards three times and then we'll get right into your reading. What's happening with Aries spirits? What's happening with Aries? Okay, one more shuffle, Aries. What's happening with Aries? Okay, Aries, let's find out what's going on. Of Aries. The first card we have here is we have the hangman. This is Pisces energy, but this is you right now, Pi um, Aries. You're kind of taking a pause, taking a time out to look at the bigger picture. You're in kind of a stuck position here. I feel like you're about to have an epiphany moment because someone's rushing in towards you with a message. This person has their sword out. So we're going to clarify and find out what's going on, Aries. We have the fool. This is taking a leap of faith, starting a new journey. And then we have the king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There's something new that you want right now in your life, Aries, and you're, you're going to be going after it. I'm seeing you going after it, not taking no for an answer, but I feel like there could be someone here at a distance from you. In the center of your reading, we have the Eight of Swords. Again, this is being stuck in your mind, in your thoughts, feeling like your hands are tied blindfolded it's happening with Aries and then we have the the nine of wands I feel like you're tired there's something here that you've been fighting for and you you are not giving up and don't give up you're almost there keep going Aries don't give up I'm seeing a messenger show up here. This is good news. I'm going to go back and clarify, though. What's happening with Aries? Okay, and then we have the Four of Cups. This is... Um, this, this could be someone making you an offer that you're not happy with, but we'll find out. The Queen of Pentacles is here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Why is the hangman here? Let's clarify your cards. Why is the hangman here, spirits? Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands. If you notice here, Aries, there's a lot of hands at the ends of these wands. But you're on higher ground. You're going to be fine. I'm seeing you feeling kind of defensive about something here. And that's why you're taking a time out. You could feel like there's a lot coming at you now. And it could have something to do with someone that you're connecting with. With the Two of Cups. And then we have the Ten of Cups. For some reason, I feel like someone makes you very happy. There's a lot of love and a connection that you're connecting in with someone. But there's people that are trying to get into your business here. There's gossiping people. You're feeling defensive and guarded. But I'm seeing a message with the Knight of Swords. Someone taking action.
Okay, so I've got the Queen of Swords and I've got the Page of Swords. There could be someone here where there's an age difference. Someone's younger than you. But this person is watching you, Aries, and I feel like... I feel like you're holding up your sword to this person. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, but this person, you're about ready to cut them off. They're coming, they're coming at you very cold. They're not thinking about what they're saying before they're saying it. They're just going to say something cold to you. And I feel like you're ready for it. You're holding up your sword. This person has become a heavy burden with the Ten of Wands. And so I'm seeing you dropping a burden and um, starting down a new path in your life. And I feel like there's someone here that makes you very happy. There's another connection. Because with this, there's a connection here that like I told you, it's a heavy burden. It's a very heavy energy. It, there's going to be a tower moment. It's coming to an end. It's not built on a stable foundation. And um, I feel like there's someone new coming into your life right behind it, Aries. And so we have the Fool is the next card. This is dropping that burden. See how you're not carrying around the all of those wands you're throwing your hands up in the air setting yourself free this could have something to do with a job or with a with a person that you that um is making you feel defensive why is the fool here the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy um the Chariot, which is Cancer Energy, and the Knight of Pentacles. You're going to be getting some type of an offer with the Knight of Pentacles. This could be a new job. This is a messenger showing up with good news. This is something that that is not coming overnight. It's taken time for this offer to get to you. But once it does, which I'm seeing it show up in your energy right now, Aries, things are going to move very quickly. You could be starting up your own business. Um, I'm seeing a lot of financial security showing up in your reading here. This is something that you're going after and you're not taking no for an answer. I feel like there's someone here that could be at a distance from you that's showing up in your energy. Why is the King of Wands here? I have the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you've either found something out recently or you're going to. There's a person here that has you in a three-party situation. I have three threes. It's causing a lot of heartache and pain. But I'm seeing you here turning your back on this person, person turning your back on the past and looking out into your future now. And there's someone new coming into your life because with this person, you felt stuck. There was no growth. Nothing was happening. And um, you just want to break free. You're tired. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Ten of Wands. The Ace of Swords. The Nine of Cups. This person is a real struggle, Aries, and I'm seeing them coming and telling you the truth about something. Because you've been feeling stuck in your mind. 
like there's something hidden that you're not seeing. But I'm seeing this person coming and telling you the truth about something, about what they've been doing. You, you're you going to find out. I'm seeing communication from this person. And it, it sets you at peace is what I feel like. It's like it sets you free. I have the Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment. There's something very successful coming into your life that is a wish fulfillment. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Justice. So there could be a legal matter for some of you. You could be dealing with a Libra. I have Cancer very strong here. I'm seeing you getting your justice for um, fighting for a connection with someone where this person, they just keep, they could be rushing in and out of your life, out of control. Some There could be something to do with a vehicle here, but this person is very undependable, unreliable. I'm seeing the scales being balanced, things being made right. There's a new opportunity coming into your life, but I feel like this person will be coming back to apologize. With the Knight of Pentacles, I'm seeing an opportunity. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The Three of Cups. Judgment. And the Queen of Wands. There's someone here that wants to reconcile with you, Aries. And I'm not sure if you're open to it or not. Because the next card I have here is the Four of Cups. So you could, you could be refusing this offer. But um, I'm seeing that that there's someone here there where there's ghosting possibly but whoever this person is they see you as the queen of wands and so this is a very beautiful energy this person has a lot of passion for you and they're making a judgment call to come to you with an apology Why is the Four of Cups here? Yeah, I'm just seeing a very unstable, unpredictable person here. This could be a very controlling person. I have the Emperor, so I'm seeing someone that could be very controlling, like I told you. And, but... They want to be free. They want to do whatever they want to do. They're not in a stable, grounded energy. And I'm seeing things coming to an end with ten swords in the back. This person's doing something behind your back and you know it. But I'm seeing them coming and telling you the truth. The two of pentacles is here, so this is someone who's juggling. Why is the queen of pentacles here? Okay, so we have the sun, which is Leo energy, the three of wands, and the ace of wands. Yeah, with this energy right here, I'm seeing you healing from this person from the past and healing coming into your life with the sun the sun is healing it's the yes card 
you're turning your back on the past, looking out into the future, and I'm seeing something new and exciting coming into your life. A new passionate beginning. I feel like this is a new person that I'm seeing up here. Why is the Ace of Wands here, Spirits? This new person could be someone younger than you. Yeah, see? The Ace of Cups. There's new love coming into your life. Yeah, and this other person is watching, is watching this, and um, they made a decision they can't take back. They want to take it back, but this person can't take this decision back. Let me see what they want to say to you, Aries. Okay, we're going to start with the water signs. Okay, if you're dealing with a Pisces, I never want to feel that way again, is their message. Cancer, your body language says so much. Scorpio. I knew exactly what I was doing. Aries. You you are the best thing in my life. If you're dealing with another Aries. Leo. So many things remind me of you, Sagittarius. You didn't imagine it, Aquarius. My life is not as together as it seems, Libra. I don't react when people mention you. Gemini, I hope you're happy for me. Taurus, we are more alike than I admit. Virgo, you speak to me through music. Capricorn, I am not coming back. And for everyone on the bottom of the deck, I need to focus on my healing. Okay, Aries, so these are the messages spirits have for you. I hope they help. I'm just going to grab you a couple of Moonology cards for advice before we um, end the reading. What does Aries need to know, spirits? You are good enough. Take time to breathe out. Bring love into the situation, which I definitely see new love coming into your life. And expect powerful change. Okay, Aries, so these are the messages spirits have for you. I hope they help and bring you clarification. And thank you so much for watching. And... Thank you for liking and subscribing and being here with me. And I send you lots of love and light, Aries. Namaste.